All right, today we're talking about influences, more specifically, my influences. Um, this is five people that I thought um, really influenced me when I was uh, first starting to play. I mean, there was more than five, but I wanted to limit this to just five, you know, just for video's sake, and um, because they were probably the ones that were most influential on me early on. Um, and, well, big surprise, number one is Eddie Van Halen. Um, something about the way, like, you watching, like, Panama or Jump, watching those videos, the way he was, you know, up in front just as much as it's Dave, just as much as, you know, everybody, and smiling, having fun. It just made guitar playing look so cool, and that's what made me want to play guitar. Um, then I started listening to what he was doing, and I loved the way that he was structuring the songs and throwing in, you know, different sounding chords and little runs and stuff to make even the verses different. It wasn't just the same verse repeated either. Um, and, well, just, um, like, even the intro to Running with the Devil, I love the way the um, chord, the whole chord thing in that is, yeah. Just the way he would blow those harmonics and that stuff in there. It was just so cool. And also, um, Van Halen was the first thing I learned that actually sounded like I was, you know, doing really cool soloing and stuff. And that was, of course, the tapping from Eruption. <laughs> difficult for me at the time, and it just sounded so cool. It sounded like it was supposed to. And it, you know, influenced me. It made me want to play more. So, you know, that was great. And um, also, like, I mean, talking about love. First song I learned completely, solo and all. And it was, you know, a simple solo for Van Halen. But it was just so cool that he had that side of him, too, that, uh, you know, just helped influence me. Okay, second influence would probably be uh, Angus Young. And again, something about watching him in videos, just how crazy all over he was, was, you know, what attracted me to him. But then actually seeing what he was doing, of course, made me, you know, that lifelong ACDC fan just because of, the, you know, how cool some of the stuff they were doing. I mean, they were just taking regular old cowboy chords and, you know, using them in rock songs, you know, just even You Shook Me All Night Long. simple as that is, it was just so cool. Um, and I also love how they would influence, you know, he'd use that blues influence to make such cool songs. I mean, I, I love the whole... was also such a cool aspect of their playing. They were a rock band, but it's all that blues influence. Um, and uh, also, I loved his solos. I mean, he was the one, you know, in that rock genre that was doing those, uh, you know... You know, more of that, like, um, Chuck Berry school of soloing. And, um, but using it in such a cool rock context that um, it was, it's just so cool. I mean, I know I say cool a lot, but it's just, it was. Um, and yeah, like I say, that's really what, uh, you know, made me the, you know, big ACDC fan that I am. All right, third person on the list, which is in no particular order, just the way I'm doing it, um, is uh, Steve Vai. And there's no way I'm going to try to play like Steve Vai. I can't play like Steve Vai. Um, but uh, the way that he, again, like Ed, he was presented in the videos, and uh, he was just, you know, just crazy all over there, having a blast, um, just doing things that you didn't know were even possible on the guitar, and um, just, 
you know, making the thing talk. I mean, it was just crazy when he, you know, first came out, especially, you know, seeing him in, uh, you know, the Daily Roth videos. It was just so crazy. Um, but one of the other cool things about his playing, which is something I have tried to uh, incorporate into mind, is just this cool sense of melody and then the way he uh, works the trim as like a set, another voice. And um, it's just so cool. I love to do things like... Uh, just so cool the way that he, you know, finds the notes and uses that as part of the, you know, the down. You know, go up to that note. Just always love the way that he did that. Um, <laughs> obviously, I'm not pretty good at, it, but um, I just, I just cool. I just love that, and um, well, just <laughs> so many things about Steve that I just, you know, it's like the music comes out of him without even, even you know, thinking about it. It's almost just like it flows through him, and <laughs> he's just like a channel for it or something. I don't know, um, but yeah, it's it's Steve I. What more can you say? All right, next would have to be Slash. Um, Something about Guns N' Roses when they came out, it was just such a, you know, they didn't really sound like the other bands that were, you know, getting played. And, you know, they had that blues influence, like ACDC, but it was just so much dirtier and grittier and, you know, had more of, you know, like maybe like an Aerosmith influence to it. And just something about it was just so different. And, uh, well, the way they looked, too, that was completely different. You know, Slash had that last paw and it was slung really low. You know, it just wasn't the, what you were used to seeing. And so that, you know, caught my eye. And then you listen to it, and it's just so cool. I mean, I love the way that him and uh, Izzy wrote songs, you know. <laughs> you know, stuff like that is just so cool. And the way that Slash solos, I think, is closest to the way I solo you know, that's probably, you know, the biggest influence on how I solo, because, you know, I kind of knew that same school where it's just like play and fall, like, almost like you're just falling all over and you just kind of fall into it, you know. The stuff I do when I'm doing stuff like this is totally Slash influence. <laughs> um, you know, that was <laughs> a little bit sloppy, but, you know, that type of thing that I do is such... You know, coming from that Slash school, it's just, you know, just so cool. Okay, last example is going to surprise you, um, but uh, it's C.C. DeVille. All right, yes, bring on the hate, I know. But um, this video is about when I started playing guitar and the things that were inspiring me at that time. And C.C. DeVille was somebody that you could, you know, a lot of the stuff he was doing, you could play it. And um, they were just so crazy. You know, their videos were out there all over, and he's all these different guitars in those for that first string of videos they did. You know, it was just cool to see. Um, and um, learning the uh, solo to uh, Every Rose Has a Thorn um, taught me to repeat what I was doing. You know, play the notes I'd already played in my soloing. And I, let me explain what that means. Um, the part of the solo where it goes, uh, you know, that part where he's going back to the note. I wasn't doing that at the time when I was soloing, you know. If I was doing pentatonic stuff, it was just... You know, running through the scale one way or the other and not re-hitting those notes. And after that, it's when learning that, after learning that solo, it's when I started, you know, going back. You know, and so, yeah, that's, you know, part of that, you know, learning at that time was that, you know, that solo helped. And uh, so, yeah, I have to throw him on his uh, early influence on my playing. Um, does he influence me a lot now? No. I mean, yeah, I look back at the 80s and, you know, it was really cool and, uh, you know, enjoy it. But, you know, at the time, yes, that was definitely an influence on uh, the way I was playing. 
So there you go. Five examples. I, mean, I have tons of other influences. This video would be so long, like I said at the beginning. But, uh, yeah. Just thought this would be a cool video into, you know, like, an insight of my beginnings as far as a guitar player. Um, and so, yeah. Um, as always, you guys know, thank you for watching. Uh, hit that subscribe down there. I'll see you in the next video.